the brilliance of astrology is related to the associations that are made between planets and signs and all the various things that we experience in our lives. And when it comes to Mercury, it is pretty clear that it is connected to our senses. And it is also pretty clear that our senses are extremely important. One could actually say that our life is literally our senses. What we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we touch, what we taste, and then the sixth sense is actually the mind itself, which in a sense, no pun intended, brings all the senses together. But all of that is connected to Mercury. So Mercury is extremely important, and everyone would benefit from getting a better understanding of the condition of Mercury in their natal chart and the kinds of transits, progressions, and arcs that our, our Mercury is going through at any given point in time. Now, another thing that Mercury is connected to that is also incredibly critical is the question of breath, breath and breathing. And you can see this through the transits in our life when, for example, injuries or problems happen in the area of our chest and lungs and you often notice Mercury is connected to this. Mercury as well as Gemini, but Mercury of course rules Gemini. And in this video I wanted to talk about a way of breathing that is extremely useful toward relaxation and just generally feeling better. And it involves a certain amount of manipulation of the breath by way of extending the out-breath. The idea being to make it at least twice as long as the in-breath, but with a little bit of practice, three or four times longer. It is much easier than it sounds. So for example, if an in-breath takes three or four seconds, at first it's pretty easy to breathe out for about eight, but pretty soon you can move all the way to 12, 16, and even 20. And if the in-breath is made a little longer, the same thing happens on the other end. So for example, you could have a 520 sequence or even a, a 624 sequence. Uh, I myself have been able to do as high as 10, on the in-breath and 40 on the out-breath. That, of course, takes uh, a little bit of practice. But the end result is a palpable sense of relaxation. And this is very useful because it actually affects all the senses. All of them are able to tune in better as a result of this relaxation. And this particular breath is especially useful in meditation or rather as the prelude to meditation. So for example, if one is going to meditate for let's suppose it's 30 minutes, if one spends the first 10 or perhaps the first five, some period of time prior to the start of the actual meditation doing this breath, then the meditation itself will tend to go a lot better. You could even argue that if the entire meditation was simply this type of breath, that would also be very useful because the sense of relaxation is felt, the sense of well-being is felt, and then is carried forward into the rest of the day or the hours that follow that meditation. Now, this breath, this type of breath, is also very useful as a prelude to sleep because if one is reaching that part of the day when one is getting tired and one wants to sleep, this particular breath relaxes the body and mind a great deal and therefore it makes sleep 
uh, happen faster and also it'll tend to be deeper. I myself have even used this breath in the middle of the night. If I happen to wake up, all it takes is a few extended out breaths uh, and then sleep resumes. So, I highly recommend you try this out and in that sense you're tuning into your astrological mercury and you're tuning into a very important part of life.